Step away from the comfort of our blue planet as we venture into the terrifying unknown. Our universe, vast and unending, is a cosmic gallery of wonders, yet it harbors horrors beyond human comprehension. We are about to embark on a journey to some of the most horrifying planets ever discovered. From the unimaginable extremes of heat and cold to the bizarre and deadly weather phenomena, these are the planets that defy our understanding of life and survival. In the cosmic wilderness, we'll find worlds where molten glass rains from the sky, where darkness reigns eternal, and where the very fabric of existence seems to be torn at the seams. These are not the tranquil, life-giving worlds that we dream of. They are the nightmares of the cosmos, the embodiments of our deepest fears. They remind us that space, for all its beauty, is a realm of extremes. Hold on tight as we blast off into the terrifying abyss of space. Our first stop, discovered in 2005, is a planet where it rains glass, sideways. Yes, you heard that right. Imagine the Earth, but instead of gentle raindrops falling from the sky, shards of glass whip through the atmosphere at speeds of up to 7,000 kilometers per hour. Welcome to HD 189733B, a place where the term shattered skies takes on a whole new meaning. Located 63 light-years away in the constellation of Volpecula, this alien world is a sight to behold. At first glance, its deep blue hue might trick you into thinking it's an Earth-like planet. But don't be fooled. This isn't the serene blue of Earth's oceans and skies, but rather the result of silicate particles scattering blue light in the planet's atmosphere. HD 189733b is what scientists call a hot Jupiter. It's a gas giant that orbits its parent star at a perilously close distance, leading to scorching temperatures and extreme weather conditions. Imagine hurricane-like storms with winds that could make our most powerful cyclones seem like a gentle breeze. But it's during these violent storms that things get even more terrifying. The extreme heat causes silicates in the atmosphere to condense into clouds. These aren't your fluffy, white cumulus clouds, but clouds of molten glass. When these clouds are hit by the planet's fierce winds, the molten glass is blown sideways, creating a horrifying rain of glass shards. And if the prospect of glass rain wasn't scary enough, let's not forget the planet's temperature. HD 189733b's dayside temperature reaches over a thousand degrees Celsius, hotter than the surface of Venus, the hottest planet in our solar system. So picture this. A world where the sky is a swirling maelstrom of molten glass, whipped up by winds faster than the speed of sound under the relentless glare of a searing sun. Surviving a day on HD 189733b would certainly be a glassy nightmare. A nightmare, indeed, but an awe-inspiring testament to the extreme diversity of planets in our vast universe. Next, we plunge into darkness with Tress 2b, a planet darker than coal discovered in 2006. In the far reaches of the Kepler field, in the constellation Draco, lies a celestial body that challenges our understanding of space phenomena. Tress 2b, an exoplanet that's so dark it reflects less than 1% of the light that reaches it. Tress 2b was discovered by the Transatlantic Exoplanet Survey, hence the name, and it captured the curiosity of astronomers due to its extreme darkness. A gas giant similar in size to Jupiter, Tress 2b orbits its star at such a close distance that it completes a full orbit in just two and a half days. Despite this proximity, the planet remains shrouded in darkness, its surface absorbing nearly all the light that hits it. The darkness of Tress 2b is puzzling to scientists. Most planets, like our Jupiter, reflect a significant portion of the starlight they receive. So what makes Tress 2b so different? It might be due to the presence of light-absorbing chemicals in its atmosphere, such as vaporized sodium, potassium, or gaseous titanium oxide. Or perhaps it's the absence of reflective clouds, which are common on other gas giants. The truth remains a mystery, waiting to be unlocked. But don't let its darkness fool you into thinking Tress 2b is a cold and frozen world. Quite the contrary. The planet's close proximity to its star makes it a scorching hot world, with estimated temperatures reaching up to 3,400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than some stars. So imagine yourself standing on the surface of Tress 2b. 
you'd be engulfed in an eerie pitch black atmosphere, the heat from the nearby star pressing against your skin. Above the star would appear as a dim distant point of light, barely piercing the planet's dense dark atmosphere. Tress 2b, a world where eternal night reigns. An exploration of this dark planet offers a stark reminder of the bewildering diversity of the cosmos, of worlds that defy our expectations, and of the infinite mysteries that await us in the depths of space. Fast forward to 2008, we find WASP-12b, a planet slowly being devoured by its own star. Imagine, if you will, a celestial body caught in a cosmic dance with its own star. But this dance is no waltz. It's a dance of doom, a slow, inevitable descent into oblivion. This is the grim reality for the exoplanet known as WASP-12b. Discovered in the spring of 2008, WASP-12b orbits perilously close to its host star, WASP-12, a star not unlike our own, albeit far more voracious. This gas giant, around one and a half times the size of Jupiter, is located in the constellation Auriga, almost 1400 light years away from us. But this is no ordinary gas giant, for WASP-12b is being slowly, inexorably consumed by its star. The process of this slow destruction is as fascinating as it is terrifying. Due to its close proximity to its star, the planet is subjected to extreme tidal forces. These forces stretch and distort the planet into an egg shape, leading to what astronomers call tidal disruption. Over time, the star's intense gravity siphons off the planet's outer layers, slowly pulling it apart. In a way, WASP-12b is an embodiment of the phrase too close for comfort. Its year lasts just over one Earth day, a testament to its dangerously close orbit. The planet's surface temperature is a scorching 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to vaporize metals. The star's immense gravity pulls this hot metallic gas towards it, gradually devouring the planet bit by bit. This slow consumption is a process that will take millions of years, but the fate of WASP-12b is sealed. There will come a day when this gas giant will be no more, swallowed whole by its insatiable star. WASP-12b, a chilling reminder of the destructive power of stars. A testament to the fact that in the cosmic dance of planets and stars, sometimes the dance can turn deadly. And yet, in its doom, WASP-12b serves as a stark reminder of the diverse and often unforgiving nature of our universe. In 2009, Scientists discovered a world of fire and molten rock, Koro 7b. Welcome to the world that is nothing short of a living, breathing inferno. The planet, Koro 7b, found 485 light years away in the constellation Monoceros, is a testament to the extreme conditions that planets can endure. This fiery world was discovered by the French space agency's Koro mission, and it's unlike anything we've seen before. Imagine a place where the ground under your feet is not solid, but a roiling, boiling sea of lava. That's Koro 7b. It's so close to its star that its surface is perpetually scorched, with temperatures soaring over 2000 degrees Celsius on the side facing the star. That's hotter than some stars. But let's not forget about the night side of this planet. The temperature drops drastically, going down to minus 200 degrees Celsius. This extreme temperature swing is unlike anything we see on Earth, and it leads to one of the most fascinating and terrifying phenomena in the universe, the planet's volcanic activity. Korot 7b is a world of fire and ice. When the molten rock on the day side cools on the night side, it solidifies and forms rocks. And as these rocks are carried by the planet's rotation back into the light, they heat up and melt once again into a sea of lava. This is a planet where rocks are born, die, and are reborn in an endless cycle of creation and destruction. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember Koro 7b. Remember a world where the ground is not solid but liquid fire. A world where the sun never sets and the rocks underfoot are born anew each day. Remember this world of extremes, this world of fire and ice. Koro 7b, a world that turns rock into lava and then into rock again. In 2010, we met Kepler-7b, a planet lighter than styrofoam. Imagine a world so lightweight, so ethereal, that it defies our Earth-bound conceptions of what a planet should be. Kepler-7b was discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, a marvel of modern technology that's been scanning the cosmos for signs of distant exoplanets. 
The telescope witnessed the slight dimming of a star nearly 1,400 light-years away, a telltale sign of a planet passing in front. That planet was Kepler-7b. What sets Kepler-7b apart from other exoplanets is its astonishingly low density. This gas giant is roughly the same size as Jupiter, yet it weighs in at only half the mass. It's so light that it has less density than styrofoam. Can you imagine a Jupiter-sized ball of styrofoam floating around in space? That's Kepler-7b for you. But what would life be like on such a planet? Well, it's unlikely that life as we know it could exist there. The planet's surface, if it can be called that, is likely a swirling mass of gaseous material with no solid ground to stand on. The atmosphere is probably composed of hydrogen and helium, with trace amounts of heavier elements. Temperatures on the planet are thought to range from scorching hot to freezing cold, depending on the time of day and the location on the planet. Living on Kepler-7b would be like trying to exist inside a colossal, ever-changing cloud. The ground beneath your feet would be a shifting, swirling mass of gas. You might be able to float in this gaseous environment, but you'd also be at the mercy of the planet's winds and storms. And without anything solid to anchor yourself to, you could easily be swept away into the void. But perhaps the most haunting aspect of Kepler-7b is the thought of looking up into the sky. There you would see a massive bright star dominating the sky, a constant reminder of the planet's precarious position in the cosmos. Kepler-7b, a world where you could float away into the abyss. These discoveries, from glass rain to devouring stars, reveal the horrors that exist beyond our world. Space, in all its vastness, harbors celestial bodies that are as fascinating as they are terrifying. Let's take a moment to recap what we've uncovered about these eerie worlds. First, we delved into the mysteries of the glass rain planet, a world where the skies weep shards of glass. Imagine the sound of glass drops tinkling against the surface, a symphony of danger and beauty intertwined. It's a spectacle that's as mesmerizing as it is deadly. Then we ventured into the shadows of the dark planet, a place where perpetual night reigns. It's a world shrouded in eternal darkness where the sun never rises and the inhabitants, if there are any, live in an endless, chilling night. We journeyed next to the doomed planet, a world spiralling towards its fiery death. Here, the inhabitants would live with the knowledge that their planet is on a collision course with its star, a ticking time bomb in the heart of the cosmos. Our voyage then took us to the lava planet, a world engulfed in molten fury. Imagine rivers of lava flowing freely, a world ablaze, where every surface is an inferno and survival is but a fleeting dream. Finally, we explored the lightweight planet, a world so light it floats. It's a place where gravity is a mere whisper, where the ground beneath your feet could give away any moment, sending you tumbling into the sky. From the terrifying to the bizarre, these planets remind us of the wonders and dangers that lie in the vast expanse of space, they challenge our understanding of the universe and compel us to question our place within it. But that's the beauty of space exploration. It's a journey into the unknown, a quest for knowledge that takes us to the very edge of imagination. So, until next time, keep looking up and wondering.